and gentlemen, good morning. Wow, it's, you guys seem a little bit nervous. That's my job. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How my optimism will help me press on to greater achievements of the future. The future that I possess is encapsulated in every new year, every privileged minute, and each second that I am afforded on this great earth. In this future of mine, I envisage myself persevering upward, pressing onward, and pushing through to what will be great and magnanimous accomplishments. And the vehicle that will continue to take me there is optimism. This vehicle that I have deemed most appropriate to take me on my voyage is defined by the Oxford Dictionary as, and I quote, hopefulness and confidence about the future or in the success of something, end quote. Already along this journey, I have drawn upon the positivity of the optimist creed and have witnessed the optimism displayed by many outstanding organizations that have continued to help this world despite the odds. The chunks of motivational truths that I have gained from these organizations have helped me to progressively step into the unknown with a glow in my very tiny eyes. Because I have not simply witnessed positive actions and let them evade my mind, but I allow them to permeate my being. Yes. I have soaked myself in the positive. Because when all is said and done, my earthly voyage requires that I understand that the onus is upon me to be optimistic. Furthermore, I am always cognizant that it is my own optimism that propels me into a future of greater blessings if I am willing to be teachable. Every day, lessons are taught to me. These lessons presented themselves, for example, when my family moved from one country to the other and I was forced to leave the familiar embrace of my friends. When I received the phone call that my great-grandmother had passed away. And at that period when I entered countless singing competitions and it seemed as though I would never be able to prevail. Yes, these lessons were taught to me at the times when defeat and heartbreak appeared to be inevitable. However, I quickly learned that my life can only be driven by my own optimism, and that I will only see a dream that illuminates before my very eyes if I passionately pursue my dreams in spite of imminent threats and despite the unknown. And that is why, after I moved, I made up my mind that I was going to find new friends. And I did. When my great-grandmother passed away, I told myself, I will see her again, and I will. And at that time, when I entered singing competition after singing competition, and it seemed as though I would never come on top, my optimism forced me to enter even more competitions. And I did prevail. Now, on that note, pun intended, as a singer, one major threat for me is the negativity of others. Being told that I'm not good enough and that I'll never make it. However, my optimism tells me to never believe that I cannot achieve what I set out to do. My optimism tells me that as I swim through the seas of this life, though waves of discouragement may come in the voices of naysayers, I can confidently rise above the tide. I can be like those great men and women who were told that they could never achieve anything and yet attained the seemingly unattainable. I have a dream. I can do all things. I am the change that I wish to see in this world. Finally, what does a young lady with tiny eyes and a funny accent to do when she is told that she does not fit the profile of an international songstress? Simply see a glimpse of herself on the horizon, touching hearts with her voice as a glove, 
through song after song and with lyrics that sound just a little bit like this. My optimism will help me press on to greater achievements of the future. Madam Chair.